Well, hello and welcome. Uh, this is a different style of video. It's something I've never done before. Um, I've actually gone for the last 30 days since July 31st, 2024. I picked up, well, I, it's a notebook that was given to me for Christmas uh, last year or the year before. And I was like, you know what? I'm not doing much with this. I was jotting down a few notes for videos and stuff like that. But because of the newfound fandom I have found myself in, I went, I need to draw. I need to learn how to draw because I want to bring merch for the channel. And it's really difficult to sit there and pick up an artist uh, because, sure, I could pay an artist. Uh, I would pay an artist $75 to $100, whatever, whatever that would be. And then I would put that on a t-shirt with my logo, branding. But then it's not personal it's not something i've created and uh this is where we at i decided i'm going to do a challenge for myself and learn how to draw and i've given myself the challenge to do this at least an hour a day for 30 60 and 100 days so this is an ongoing challenge and this is the first video of that of the update this is the 30 day challenge of me learning how to draw now a little bit of history. Uh, I don't know how to draw. I draw a stick figure. I, uh, I, I attempted in grade 10 to even enroll myself into an art class and was rejected because I had no basic talent. The, the teacher of the high school that I ended up in, uh, they, they, they rejected anybody that didn't have a portfolio in front of them. They that didn't already have a sense of what they were doing. I have no sense of what I was doing. Um, everything I have done on YouTube and everything I've done in life has almost been self-taught. Um, and it's been an ongoing journey. So on that note, I have here stuff to show you. The beginning is very, very basic and it doesn't look like a whole lot of anything. But I got to tell you, close to the end here, the, the, things are starting to kind of ravel together. And... I'm excited to show this stuff off and I hope you guys are ready to see it. This is how I started. I used a very basic rudimentary how to draw and that's where we started. Uh, you know, you, you get the basic lines down, you get a very idea. This was the first one out of them all. And now it's just, you know, I can rifle through these very, very quickly because some of them, th this early stuff is just, you know, this is the first couple days of stuff that I just don't quite understand what I'm doing. Um, and, you know, it's very basic, very, very, very not anything at this point. And it, you know what? It, people have to start somewhere, right? Um, you know, and sometimes outlines, I will draw an outline and uh, I pretty much give up because I don't like it, right? This one. Um, this is actually something very interesting. This is, I was watching a Twitch live stream. Um, if you guys haven't seen the video where I interviewed Dexter down under, go watch that video because this, this is kind of where things kind of fell into place. I was watching his live stream and I was like, you know what? I'm watching this live stream. I'm not doing anything. I pulled out the book and I started sketching. Uh, he's got his avatar on the screen and this is one of the first ones that actually came out and I was like, okay, I can do something at, at this point. So this was a very, very, this is very early uh, that I was able to do something like that. So there's that, you know, trying to draw beaks, I it's driving me nuts. This is a Mega Man boss. <laughs> um, yeah, and we, it, it still to me does not look like something. This one in particular though, um, I had a photo, we, I was at the vet with Janiah and I had the photo and I was like, you know what, let's, let's try and draw something more. And that's where I, I was like, okay, I can draw something, uh, something in Janiah. And to me, this, the way this outline kind of came about, it, it does sort of remind me of like the, the indigenous or native style artwork, uh, that I have seen. And we have a, a few books around here of stuff that just kind of relates to that. So to me, it was very interesting how this one came out. Uh, you know, more, more very basic, just trying to learn shapes and stuff like that. <laughs> I mean, some of these, some of these, I'm just like, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing here. You know, I, I 
I tried I, at the same time I was finding myself I'm always I'm getting better at one particular style uh, than over the other that's where I was like okay maybe I maybe I can make a cute bear or something like that okay this one is a picture I saw on someone's discord literally it was a husky staring at a lantern and I was laughing my ass off it so much but I was like, okay, I need to draw this because literally this is the look the dog was giving. I didn't save the photo or anything like that, but this was the look the dog was giving. It was this absolute derp look at the lantern. And I was like, it's too funny, right? You know, getting getting a little bit there, starting to have an idea of, of how to do something more. This is probably around day, I'm probably around a week at that point. Right, still trying to draw the Griffin Phoenix stuff. It's it's still kind of out there. This one isn't too bad. This is based off a picture that I was sent from uh, actually my niece. Right, it's uh if you guys have seen the main logo that I use of the Phoenix, the old school Cinder Shadow Gaming, that actually was drawn by my niece years ago when when we started. Uh, I started really gaming on the channel. You know, once again, very very basic shapes and i think that's where this book pretty much ends oh no there's more there's more you know getting a little bit more of an idea of what's going on <laughs> i mean some of these <laughs> some of these are just <laughs> look it's derpy it's derpy and i love it oh this is cheeto um i was in one of the discords and i know you're a follower um and i saw the one of their pictures i was like oh hey that'd be kind of cool to try and practice so i started drawing that out and i was like hey th this is kind of kind of neat to be able to do and this is where i kind of got the idea of trying to look at people's fursuits look at people's pictures that they've drawn already and see if i can start getting an idea and that was the end of this that's where i stopped doing this because literally this book fell apart then enter the dollar store book that I went out there. I, I picked this one up, I believe it was while we were at Fragapalooza, and I have been drawing in this thing almost daily. Uh, actually, no, it has been daily. I've been drawing in this thing quite a few times throughout the day. Um, and you can see it's starting to fall apart as well. So these are things, you know, this is the first one that I put in there. A very derpy thing. Ah, uh, that didn't work out at all a big face you know this one kind of more looks like a dragon uh this was i saw a picture on vr chat so i was like oh let's try and draw that uh me trying to get basic shapes down on on how to do the bodying uh trying to draw and pause of course um just trying anything at this point and then i decided you know what let's let's try a splash of color let's see where it goes you know a lot of penciling in this one and uh, I was like, okay, I, I mean, the color, I think the color comes later, really, is what I started thinking here. You know, trying, once again, getting very basic stuff still going, um, just every little bit, right? But it does start to get quite a bit better, getting the ideas, and this is probably one of the, one of the very early ones that I sat there and went, hey, this is kind of cool. Like, this is where things started to kind of take a little bit of shape for me, uh, is at this point. You know, just kind of starting to sketch things out. You know, they've got oversized heads at this point, uh, but trying to put it all together in retrospect. This one you kind of can't see because I've only, it, it's not darkened or anything like that. Um, and, you know, and then... Once again, I'm getting in, I'm taking people's photos that I see out there, and I'm trying to just, at this point, get an idea on what I'm drawing, right? And, you know, one thing after another, uh, just going, going on and on. And, you know, things are just kind of taking shape for me. And this is something that I never really thought I could do, right? Um, and it's kind of at this point where I started skipping, looking at people's photos. You can barely see that one. It's so penciled. Right. Once again, getting the basic shapes down on how to draw the body. Um, this was something that I drew of a picture that I saw in VR chat. Um, yeah, to me, it doesn't look very proportionate, but it was 
it, the attempt was made on that one. It's very derpy looking to me. Um, uh, oh yeah. Right, once again, trying to play with color on this one. I wasn't too happy with this one overall. Um, it, it's just an idea on what's going on there. Right? And this is where we're at. Like, I'm I'm kind of getting it, but I'm not getting it at the same time. Once again, overly toony sized heads. And this is where I went back to the basics. I was like, okay, I've done a lot of just sketch work. A lot of just off the cup. Let's go back and try this over again and see where I can get. And this is where I was like, you know what? I'm getting a little bit more solid lines here. Right? Oh god, I don't even know what that is. Uh that that's me just trying to go back. Once again, um bored during a Twitch stream, trying to figure things out. Um, this, I was taking the avatar that we've been using on VR chat, trying uh, to get a sense of what I'm looking at and putting it to paper. It's not an easy thing to do. Definitely not an easy thing to do overall. Right? Um, I, I can't remember what this one was. I, I took someone's face and then I started coloring it in and then I just, I, you know, I did the body and went, ah, uh, I'm done. <laughs> Right? A lot, this is just what I do, is a lot of very basic things, trying to just get the shape, the formation of the shapes going. Uh, once again, taking another, I think, a VR chat version. Right? You know, it, it's not an easy thing to do. This is an idea that I want to do for a t-shirt, um, where I have the phoenix feather with the flame coming off and have it called phoenix down. This is an idea. Um, this is nowhere near what I want. Uh, I would like to digitize something like this as an idea with it. So that is a thing. This is where I really took uh, a, a picture that I saw. I was like, okay, let's try this. This is something I haven't tried before. And this was uh, someone's werewolf that I saw online. And I was like, I mean, it came out. I darkened it really well. Uh, added the tiniest bit of color in it. But overall, once again, this was another one that I did, uh, to, taking inspiration from another, another person's picture. And then I started just kind of trying to copy what I did previously in there a couple times. Right? So, you know, once again, the werewolf, we got the big fangs. Just trying to draw. Just trying anything to put the paper at this point. Right? And, you know, you can't really see this one because it is very, very lightly sketched. So, you know, in retrospect, there's a lot of things that I've done. Uh, I believe I'm starting to get an app, a, a basic idea of what I'm doing. And now it just kind of, as I move forward, I do really look at other people's arts now. Just trying to mimic what I'm seeing in front of me. Right? And this one has nothing. This is another one that I saw. You know, I just looked things up online and uh, this is something that I s saw and I was like, okay, well, that's that's fine. Uh, and then we have the, the, the fox in a hoodie or the wolf in the hoodie, um, which was once again something I saw online. I was like, hey, this might be fun to draw. So right now, taking inspiration for me, looking at other people's art online is really helping me flush out the shapes. And I think that's the way I have to really approach this. Um, you know, the, it, it, it's the way things go and I can continue trying and I'm not going to stop. I've challenged myself to a hundred days of this. And this is the, literally the 30 day update. And I mean, I've got to continue. I should really pencil that one in a little bit darker, right? It, it, it does continue uh, going on. And, you know, it, it's fun to do a video like this where I get to show my work and all of you get to kind of see it. I, I, you know, I know you guys are going to, some people are going to say, oh, you're crap or it, it's going to be absolute crap. This, this timestamp was hilarious to see. The, the fact that your head went through this, uh, this part of drawing at this point. Right? So... 
Really, this one I thought I did a fairly decent job on. Uh, I used the head shape from something else that I, I did, and then I kind of was like, you know what, let's let's just fill it out. Let's just fill out what I, whatever inspires, and that's where that one really went. And now we're, I think this, this is into the part where the comically large heads continue to happen. <laughs> and honestly, I don't care. Well, it, it's something that I found very unique to be able to continue doing things like this. Uh, this one's very light because once again, it's a it's a bit of a drawing. Uh, and then I, you know, I I don't color them all in. This one, um, I don't know what I did here. It's half turtle, half kangaroo, or something. I have no clue. <laughs> That one, once again, it's a very light drawing. You can't really see it. Um, me trying to go back to uh, the avatar that we see online right now uh, and continuing to try and get that idea. The beaks kind of elude me at the at the current moment. I know we're getting close to the end here because this, like, this is a lot of art. A lot of a lot of very very up there sketches. And you know, there's people. You know, there's a few videos I've been watching. Um, and one in particular says, you know, it doesn't have to be good to be in a sketchbook. And I don't care if it's good or bad. I'm just trying to draw, just trying to move forward. You know, this is once again, me trying something different. I saw a picture in a different perspective. I was like, you know what? Let's try that and see what comes out. Right. And. This is probably my first attempt at free drawing, trying to just make some sort of clothing on on one of these, which is something else. Once again, comically a large head, comically large neck, but this will all come in time. This is I don't expect myself to be a grand artist overnight, right? So this is where we're, we're at, and I believe, yeah, that's the very last one. I need a new sketchbook because I'm over halfway through this book. Yes, I'm writing on one page. I could turn around, flip this upside down, and go back the other way and continue doing that. But, I mean, why? I, I This is a book from the dollar store, and this is something I'm going to be able to keep and look back at in, in a few years' time when I continue to do this. So, I mean, did you see one that was your favorite? I went over a lot. Here. And I gotta say, there's some that just kind of pop off the page a little bit more. I know the ones that I've darkened, the ones that I'm liking and then I'm darkening. It's, I mean, it's something else. If anything, it's creative. And I hope you found this very enjoyable. And if you did, do me a favor, subscribe down below, like the video, and hey, share it out. Because I know there's other artists out there that are probably in the same boat where I am. Uh, you're just learning how to draw, and I gotta say, I'm not giving up anytime soon. I'm going to continue doing this because I find it a lot. I find it almost therapeutic at this point, uh, especially when I'm at work and I have some downtime. I'm like, okay, let's let's sketch something out, see what I can do, right? I'm just happy to be able to do something. Uh, it's it's better than taking up smoking. Anyway. Thank you for watching. I am your proud Canadian Phoenix Center Shadow. I'm signing off here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and especially share this one out there. Comment down below as well. Have yourselves a great day. <music>